Against Ali and the team, no, no. Why are you throwing the controller here, bro? Dude, I hold the chest, man. Come on, man. No, no. Eid Mubarak. Actually, the night of Eid, and we're eating cakes. I don't know what this is called, but it's very nice. What is it called, dude? Tart to Frez. Tart to Frez, yeah, for. Frez. They told me I need to record this because it's like an experience. Yeah, latte, latte. I'm having latte. No, no, latte. You can say latte or latte. This is Tart to Chukhala. And I also had Benin, caramel, and banana. Look, my Eid outfit. Louise is matching. Amanda's matching. You know when you go out with girls for Eid, everything takes about five thousand years, and everything is very chaotic. Long things, man. Tell me, man. Oh, oh. Eid Mubarak, guys. We have a fat bottle of Selecto and this guy was gonna go have Eid with no Selecto bro Let's move on mad But these are all traditional Algerian drinks The Selecto is the Hamoud We just got to where my grandmother is Literally took us all day to get here But Alhamdulillah we're here now All my aunties and stuff are cooking I'm so tired because like when you come here, your sleep just goes down to like minus two. Every day. Every day. Drinking All I'm gonna say is so warm here this year. For real? We're going to India next week. Cleaning up all the mess and I just smashed. Fast by accident uh, because the Abai like kind of caught it. And I was like, oops. They sent me on a mission this morning to go get water. Shout out to Turkey, bro. Where you can just order the water to the house. And you don't have to think about walking five, ten minutes or water. I literally told him to grab this and he has a man. And he said, grab boat. Like, he's not the man or something. The princess, like, I'm joking. Obviously, he has to carry the goods. It's the second day of Eid and I really don't know where I should bring this guy. Everything's closed and I'm not very good at tour being tour guide. I'm gonna figure it out. So I still need to bring him to Qasba, I need to bring him to the Elder Center. He's ringing somewhere but it's closed. So maybe we're just going to walk and find something on our walk. What we were told yesterday, Panla was a lot of shop owners and stuff like that in Algiers are actually not from Algiers. So they obviously all go back home. So that's the reason for a lot of the places being closed on our Bro, supermarket is closed. This is the second day of Eid and the supermarket is closed. They just expected all of us to starve, man. Now we're going out to see, to get ourselves something to eat. And we don't even know if this restaurant's open. Yeah. Ahmed was meant to go uh, to the gym today and he went up and it was closed. <laughs> yeah, I went to the gym because I called them and they said, oh yeah, we'll open on a day, 4 p.m. till 10. And then the next day we'll open normal hours. And then I went up and it was closed. I was disappointed, man. Anyways, uh, I was just thinking here in Algeria, they build with the wrong thing. Like there's so much tab. Dust residue of like dust and whatever. Because obviously Algiers is built in the desert. So it's just sticks everywhere. We're literally walking down the center, yeah. Every single shop is closed. We're probably not even gonna find anywhere. Obviously there's a shop up there but it's just like a lot of men in the shop. Yeah, it's like one of them ones, but maybe we'll find them. The whole menu is in uh, French. Man don't speak French. Supreme de poulet. Which means supreme chicken. Poulet farci. Ox Ependurus. Oh, said you were gonna just get a burger, but don't you wanna just. I wasn't gonna get a burger, I was gonna get a Supreme de Poulet. Oh, you're copying off? Yeah, but what's this Algerian taco team? Pick your filling and then you pick your size. Cool, I'm gonna get an extra large Poulet Marini. Yeah, and then I'm gonna get Algerian sauce. Apparently, this is an Algerian taco. Oh. Yeah, it's only a nice it Tastes like a taco Luisa makes. Why <laughs> <laughs> guys literally do them dives and they bow and. What are you saying, bro? <laughs> In Algeria, they don't have a McDonald's. They have a McCool. And it says, I'm loving eat. But you got a mango ice cream, and wallahi, it tastes exactly like the ice creams they get in Libya. They taste like mango, and they're a bit stretchy. In Algeria, they don't have Domino pizza, they have Donino. Donino pizza. Louisa brought me to the Botanic Gardens. That tree is about 5 million years old. Louisa is 6 million years old. Look, they have the strings that you can, like, string off. They're the strings for Tarzan. Uh, I think one of the Tarzan movies was shot in here. Matter of fact, Tarzan is actually Algerian. Just like couscous, just like Bezalouf, and just like everything else. And, and the, the Moroccan Gandora. The third day of Eid and we are in the Jardin DC. We're in the Botanical Gardens of Algeria. Oh my god, we already spoke about this. I'm well, you know what I'm after finding out about things. that tree there. The reason it's like that is because the branches actually have roots. The branches start growing, 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 and then they go into the ground. So then they grow like that. You know Algeria has snakes? The only snake Algeria has is you. Ha 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 ha. I woke up with a spot on my face. Let's get ice creams or something. <gasps> um, 
If they have crepe pony, you need to try crepe pony. It's like a lemon. Oh, I know it. Ice I know. Cream. I had it from before in Spain. The ice cream. Oh yeah, yeah, you did. No, but that was it's like nice. a frozen drink. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is looking like a mad zoo, bro. Some animal cruelty cages. Did you hear the lions? The smell, man. What people don't realize is lions love to sleep. Why do they keep them in there all the time? They have nothing going on. Allah, it's like a little room, man. I think a sitting room is bigger than that room, bro. It's huge. How do you just that? That's not even enough for me. I'd feel claustrophobic in that skin. Did you know that the biggest lions in the world were the Berber lions? I know. And they were actually in North Africa. I know. But they were overly hunted. Now they only exist in Belfast Zoo and some other zoos around the world. The North African zoos don't even have them. Mad. So these are just African ones. And do you know why they don't put the lions with the cubs? Why? Because the lions eat cubs. You know, actually, what they should do with this, they should make it like so you can see. Okay, like look at your Yeah, they should make it acrylic, but then they also should make bigger enclosures. Me and Louisa used to have one each. Yeah, mine used to be called Zimbad. Hairs on its head though. Mine was exactly like this, and his name was... I forgot his name, but Caesar ate him. My dog ate him. Hairs used to talk, you know that? But it wasn't a parrot, it was one of these... I'm sorry, there's monkeys here, yeah? And how could you tell me that me, a human, was also a monkey, bro? Concept of evolution is just waffle, man. Oh, oh, he got out! A monkey got out! A monkey got out! A monkey, get out! Bro, they're smart, bro. These are smart, bro. Whoa. This guy's living his best life, fam. Would you take him on? Yeah, I swear, I'd actually eat two babies, why not? Go back in. He's back for his food and all, he doesn't care, like, like chill here. Look, he's not meant to be either with them. Look, he's coming up to him. Look, look, oh, what? Look, 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 look. They're coming to get him. Oh, he's shitting it. He's scared. He needs to get away. He's out. He's after running away. He's crazy. This fella, man. This guy is actually funny, bro. He ran in, terrorized them, and then jumped back out. Nadia, I dare you to give him your hand. No, I'll give it, but I won't touch him. They're like real hands. Yeah, look. They're like real hands. Getting avocados given to us. That guy's in the tree right now, like pulling down avocados and he's getting us aloe vera for face masks and stuff. He's actually doing the maddest things ever. This guy looked after us, man. We have like 15 kilos of avocados, 5 kilos of aloe vera that we're going to take home now. And he said to us, come back on Tuesday. All because I told them I'm Libyan. <laughs> they have a whole metro system, but they don't even have a lift in it. I'm here walking up with a pram. We couldn't find anywhere open to eat. So we're just going standard pizza carry. Oh, wait, this is cold, man. We're in here in like, you know, them like corner shop mm -hmm. places. It's obviously it's to her day, day of aid and their clothes and everything. She goes because they only have like certain amounts of whatever. And it's just like, you know, one of them in the sticks shops. And we're just having some real shabba, some uh, lubia. Oh, yeah, Lubia. Yeah, Lubia. Not always fancy, fancy. Sometimes <laughs> one fancy, fancy, fancy. <laughs> I'm waiting outside the mosque where Ahmed he went in to pray among other he just texted me saying that his runners were robbed. That's so bad, like imagine in the mosque your stuff get robbed. Alhamdulillah, found my runners. Someone was using them in the toilet. But Louisa said that they could have taken it while the prayer was happening, went and prayed, hid them, so then they can come back after the prayer and rob them. But Allahu A'lam, you know, found them in the toilet anyways, and uh, I didn't put them near the toilet. But this happens everywhere, to be honest. They ate somewhere mad. The soup had chicken neck in it. The prayer, the chicken that I don't eat. <laughs> Welcome to Algeria, folks. I'm just on the back of a truck. I'm just at the Baladia, 
the government office and I'm gonna go down to the solicitors. We have some paperwork that we need to sort out for our marriage because we're trying to register our marriage here in Algeria. But inshallah, I think it's gonna be an easy peasy job. In an area that has beaches, but Louisa doesn't have a bikini. So now we went on a mad detour to try to get Louisa a bikini and we just couldn't find them. And the bikinis that they did have are mad like tight bikinis. They're no good. They're not bikinis, they're not. Louise, it's not something Louisa would wear. And it's nearly five o'clock and I'm man, bro, I want to swim from like 12, bro. Is that her bikini? Papa long, yo. We told her to just go dive in with her clothes. She said no. Yeah, because they just stick like. I'm sweating, yeah. This one's like made at like a tailor's and they just mash it together. There's no taut in it. It's literally just mashed together. The treads are hanging, but it's okay. Do a dive. I actually taught Louisa how to swim, Allahumma barik. Algerians don't know how to oh, swim. Yeah. And it's not part of their culture to go to the beach. So obviously when she came and she got married to me, I took her to the beach to taught her how to dive. And now I have Ali as well. Ali also was in training. I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you. No, I'm teaching you how to swim. We are just finished with the sea. Look, some guy gave us a load of sea urchins because we are getting them. We swam over to that rock. rock down there and then we're diving off that rock down there. There's these Algerian double mix. These are proper stuff, man. So over here we have a sea urchin. You have a rock, you crack it open, and you get cracking, bro. Now, once it's cracked open, the orange part is what you actually want to eat. So that's edible there. The middle is not edible, just the orange part. Bismillah. That right here is the edible part. And it's sweet. My light tastes like fruit, bro. It doesn't taste fishy. Sometimes it's a bit salty because a bit of salt water gets in there, but it's fruity. We're just shooting a video for Air Oud. Louisa dressed us in the same outfit. <laughs> and some guy in that restaurant down there said, Are they twins? We're at Maqam al Shuhada. But unfortunately, the Maqam al Shuhada is they don't actually let you in there. Yes. Isn't it? Bad, bro. In the taxi, 6 a.m. in the morning. Didn't sleep in like two days. Allah Just a look. The car breaks down. Not only that is we have no SIM card because we just were like, oh, here's our SIM card. We gave away our SIM cards because other people were coming to Turkey and they needed it. And we said we didn't need it. We can look after ourselves. Look after everyone else. And look what happens. You get put in these situations. So moral of the story of this, be selfish. <laughs> Even though you want to be selfless, look after yourself first. Because once you look after yourself, you can look after others. Bro, look how dangerous this is, bro. We're on a motorway, man. That man's a quick mover, bro. I'm after getting a taxi real quick. And I just kept a step in, you get me? 